In this video, we're going to look at verbs, that is, words that describe actions as such as to walk, to sing, to shout, and so on. We're also going to talk about how to construct one particular tense, the present continuous tense. This tense describes continuous actions which are going on at the present time. In English, examples are, I am talking, you are singing, he is eating, she is dancing. It's formed from the present tense of to be, I am, you are, he is, and so on together with the ing form of the verb. In genius ye, it is formed in a similar but not identical way. So let's first remember the present tense of eight to be. Je suis, I am. Je suis, je suis. Tu es, you are. Tu es, tu es. Il est, he is. Il est, il est. Allé, she is. Allé, allé. Nous a, we are. Nous a, nous a. Vous eight, you are. Vous eight, vous eight. Vous eight, you are. Isa, they are. Isa, 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 they are. The great thing about the present continuous tense is that it can be widely used, but it's also very easy to construct. The main verb, for example, talking doesn't change with the person or persons being referred to. We say, I am talking, you are talking, he is talking. This means that for this tense, we don't have to remember the ways the endings of the verbs change with the person, except for the case of to be. Let's look at a few examples. Je suis advisai. I am talking. Je suis advisai. Je suis advisai. Je suis advisai. I am talking. Je suis is I am, and a is put in after this, which is what has to be done in German as ye. And finally, the verb to talk is tvisai. Tu a advisai, you are talking. Tu a advisai. Tu a advisai. Tu a advisai. Once, exa once again, exactly the same, but with tu a rather than je suis. So there are two slight differences between the way that this tense is constructed in English and in genuine ye. The first is that an a has to be put in before the main verb. The second is that we don't use the ing form of the verb, called the present participle, as in English, but we use the form taken straight from the dictionary, the infinitive, which in English comes with a to before, to talk, to eat, to drink. So in this sense, genuine ye is slightly easier than English. Let's look at a few more examples. Il est à crache. He is chatting. Il est à crache. Il est à crache. Il est à crache. Nous est à crache. We are chatting. Nous est à crache. Nous est à crache. Nous est à crache. Allé à dansai. She is dancing. Allé à dansai. Allé à dansai. Allé à dansai. She is dancing. Vous êtes à dansai. You are dancing. Vous êtes à dansai. Vous êtes à dansai. Vous êtes à dansai. You are dancing. Allez à dormi. She is sleeping. Allez à dormi. Allez à dormi. Allez à dormi. She is sleeping. Ils sont à dormi. They are sleeping. Ils sont à dormi. Let's just again that, that the endings of the main verbs don't change with a person or person is being referred to and are the forms which are found in, in the dictionary. So if you don't know the main verb, you can just look it up in, in the dictionary. But of course we should also stress that this tense can only be used with actions which are underway at the present time. We can also use it to ask questions. Cheek to a affair. The verb cheek turns a phrase to a affair into a question. Cheek means what and to a affair means you are doing. Cheek to a affair. Uh, je suis à dessiner. Je suis à dessiner. I am drawing. Cheek to a affair. Je suis à poursuivre. Je suis à poursuivre. I am thinking. Up to now we have used je suis for I am and to a for you are. But just as in English, people don't usually say I am, they say I'm. In genuine ye, people say si, J apostrophe then si, for je si. 
and T, T apostrophe, then ES for to E. So, chic T a fer. Je suis a bear. Je suis a bear. Chic T a fer. Je suis a écrire. Je suis a écrire. I am writing. Chic is a fer. Is a cool. Is a cool. Allez à faire. Allez à pointure. Allez à pointure. She is painting. Qui qu'il est à faire? Il est à so tie. Il est à so tie. He is jumping. Qui qu'il est à faire? Allez à hier. Allez à hier. She is, she is reading. We can, of course, incorporate these into more complex sentences. Chica le a fer. Ale a sorti le fier. Ale a sorti le fier. She is smelling the flowers. Chica le a fer sai a fer. Les enfants sont à pour. Les enfants sont à pour. The children are learning. Qui qu'il est à faire? Il est à manger de la viande. Il est à manger de la viande. He is eating some meat. Qui qu'il a formé à faire? Ale a travaille do le curti. Ale a travaille do le curti. She's working in the field. All right, so let's let's have a chat about some verbs in Genesee, or generally about verbs in Genesee. So Genesee is not short of verbs. They're a large number, and part of the pleasure of speaking the language is finding one which is particularly appropriate or has some humorous aspect. We've looked at a few simple verbs. Here we look at a few that sound a bit more complex to English speakers and talk a bit about the classes of verbs in Genesis Ye. So some of the verbs are constructed from nouns. For example, berwaisie is to sweep. Berwaisie. Berwaisie. Berwaisie is to sweep. It comes from the, the word for a brush, en berwais. En berwais. En berwais. En berwais. Some may just mimic sounds. For example, the verb to, to big is quanai. 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 Quanai, which probably comes from the sound that some animals may make from when begging for food. Many verbs mean almost the same thing. For example, bulversai. 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 Bulversai means to turn upside down. And chubutai. Chulbutai. Chulbutai. Chulbutai means to overturn. But the difference between them and their use is subtle. For me, bulversai describes a more chaotic situation, perhaps the whole room turned upside down, whereas chulbutai might refer to a job being knocked over. But probably some speakers would disagree with me. So verbs in Genuese may not be equivalent to specific verbs in English. For example, so tie is to jump, but tev so tie. Tersotai. Tersotai. Tersotai is to jump in surprise or to make someone jump. The verb pepunai. 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 The verb pepunai is to show signs of impatience. And did and did you glai? Did you glai? Did you is to be put out of one's normal routine. Although these are only approximate translations and one would have to give more detail to describe them fully. The Dictionary of Mary de Gali contains these and tens of thousands of other examples. If one looks through the dictionary, it soon becomes clear that most of the verbs can be classified according to their ending. Probably the most numerous end in A-I-R, pronounced I. Nearly all the examples we've discussed in this brief chat fall into this class. The only one that doesn't is Bebo which ends in I-E-R. 
and that's probably the next biggest class of verb endings. Two other, cla two other classes which contain a reasonable number of verbs are those ending in IR, for example, fini, to finish, and those ending in RE, for example, vord, to sell. There are one or two other classes which one can identify, but they contain only a few verbs each. These verb endings are important since the way that the verb change with according to the person, je, tu, i, and so on, and to the tense, is the same for verbs with the same endings. There are of course many, like many other languages, a few irregular verbs that don't follow these patterns in all cases. We've avoided discussing the verb's endings, apart from to be and to have, by mainly using the present continuous tense so far, but eventually these have to be learned.